what's up? Same top. Well, same top because this is the same day. Um, I just I decided to do another video. Before the video I did before was my game collection. Um, but now it's actually time for me to do what? I didn't even set the timer. Oh man. Alright. Alright. Final Fantasy 7. We're doing another one talking about Final Fantasy 7. And this time I'm gonna go only talk about Final Fantasy 7. And why this game means everything to me. This game means the world. What the world when you really compare Final The world ain't no cool place. The world's full of stupidness. So I'll say the galaxy. Okay, yeah, this is stupid. I'm a, People gonna watch this be like, stop fanboying, man. Final Fantasy V is the best Final Fantasy. <laughs> um, but you know what's crazy about Final Fantasy VII? It's crazy how this, how that game is just like the fan base of Final Fantasy VII is you, the two people that you hear the most is the complete, the passionate super fans, or the passionate haters of the game. It, it's crazy. That's like the only thing you see nowadays. You gotta hear people talk about, I love Final Fantasy VII. It's the best thing since since I came out the womb. <laughs> what am I talking about? And, um, you know, people talk about they love it so much. And there's the other group of people that passionately hates it. And be like, this game is overrated, overrated, overrated. All right, I got a funny story to talk about the overrated stuff. Um, yesterday... I was watching a breaking NCS, well not breaking NCS, Jealous Guy vlog. You know Jealous Guy? That's Mr. Nintendo Capri's son. And in that vlog, he was talking about a movie and said, this movie's overrated. And then I thought to myself, there's that dying word again, overrated. The, the word, the, 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 the cop-out word, that's what I call it. It's the cop-out word that people always label Final Fantasy VII. The, it's it's such a cop out word. I, why don't, stop saying that cop out? It's just like it's it's just an easy way to hate on the game. Actually, it's an easy way to hate on many things, but it's very easy to hate on Final Fantasy VII by saying it's overrated. Honestly, for people that dislike that game, I want to know why you hate it. Besides tossing the word overrated, like who's too popular, and just like all that stuff. But anyways, on that video, Tim said, this movie's overrated. And I was like, oh, great, that word. And then a second later, Tim said, just like Final Fantasy VII. And I'm like, man, man. You know, I defend that game all the time. I know it's people's opinion. That's, that's just people's opinion of the game. Everyone deserves their own opinion, all that stuff. But... I don't understand for people who's fans of Final Fantasy, how do they play games like Final Fantasy 7 and say it's overrated? I don't know. Because with me, I play many Final Fantasies. I play like all the good ones besides 10 2 or X2. I played all the good ones and I can't say any of those games are overrated. The good ones that is. It's like they have their things that makes them good. But you know, I can't really say those games, like some of these games are overrated. I can't say 6 is overrated because 6 is a masterpiece for the SNES era. It was. They perfected everything from the older games, even though I have really played a bunch of the older games. But they, they perfected it and it's like it's a masterpiece. 7 was an innovative. innovative um, Trailblazer. The game came out crazy market and all that stuff. Commercials everywhere. It was a big success. The game changed Final Fantasy. It changed the, the, the genre of JRPGs. And then 8 and 9 made it look more tolerable, you know, and it innovated in other ways too. But like, the people that like Final Fantasy. But they say, like, they, they played all the games, all the good ones, but they specifically say they hate 7, or they don't like 7, the gamers get way too much love, and they don't know why. It's like, but how? But, for you no, know, like, like, the people that, um, 
for the people that you know is not a fan of JRPGs, I expect them to be like, yeah, this game is overrated. But for the people that are fans, and you know, they just they think the game gets too much love, and I was like, I don't know why they hate it. I want to know why people hate the game besides saying it's overrated. Like, what what is it in the game that he dislike besides the besides the things that is common? You know, I'm saying besides a lot of stuff, but you know, it was look Popeye the Sailor Man. Cloud looks like a Lego. <laughs> All right, he looks like a friggin' Popeye the Sailor Lego Man, and uh, yeah, bad translation. To me, those are like the two worst things about Final Fantasy VII, but everything else is just so dang good. Especially if you're a Final Fantasy fan. If you're a fan of Final Fantasy, you know, the game did a lot of friggin' right. You know, the game had a lot of wrong in it, too. So, that's just something I want to know. I want to. Like, also, I think I know because some games just doesn't click with people, you know. JRPGs is a type of. Especially the Final Fantasy, Chrono Trigger, you know, those turn-based RPGs. There are games that tend to, they like, you need to click with the person. I'll give you a story. Chrono Trigger, my second favorite JRPG ever. Easily. The first time, the first time I played Chrono Trigger, I, it didn't click with me. And I was like, it's, it's cool, but it, I didn't care that much about it. Persona 3, probably my third or fourth favorite JRPG. I really love Persona 3. For the longest time, I didn't want to give that game... I didn't even want to give that game a chance. You know, because I was always in the back of my head, like, it's too long, it's a hundred hours long, I can't invest all that time into this. And I played it like twice, and I said, nah, I can't play this game. And then I played it a third time, and I just fall in love with the game. And you know that's just how it is with JRPGs. You gotta sometimes you just gotta just give it, you just give it its time. You know, give it time so, so you could really enjoy the game. And that's why that's why I think about Final Fantasy Seven people that people that just hate that game. It's like maybe you just like I don't know, you know. Giving it a time, giving it the time for it to click with you or something, because the game is not overrated. It's just simply outdated. That's just what I always say. The game is outdated, and I'm on this topic for so gosh darn long that other things to say. Um, but um, here's the craziest thing. Here's another story. Did you know, for um, the longest while. Before I played Final Fantasy, I was like, I'm not going to play a Final Fantasy game. Mainly because I thought it was a stupid. I thought it was a, you, what's interesting, what's so interesting about going into a battle, you flick around in a menu and then you just stand there and watch the damage. And I was like, what's cool about that? I like action, I like movement. I always thought of that. Every time I hear Final Fantasy, I was like, I'm not playing this crap. Let me explain why I got into Final Fantasy. What made me play the game? Alright, I'm a big wrestling fan. Not anymore, I used to be a big wrestling fan. And there was this wrestler named Kenny Omega. <laughs> um, he's a Canadian, which makes things even better, just like me. And, uh, you know, wrestlers come out with entrance music. And Kenny Omega came out with this cool sounding intro music intro entrance it's not a movie and uh you know I, the, the guys the guy for some reason it sounds so cool i i get excited every time he came out just to hear his entrance music and um that's how it was with me uh, i listened to his music i i liked his entrance music, and then eventually, I, I just, you know I check up his wiki because for a time there I was just checking on wrestlers wiki, Wikipedia's to see to learn more about them and what they like and their dislikes and all that stuff. Not the dislikes, 
and just just to check up on them and also to when I want to create them in a wrestling game I know their move sets and all that stuff so check out the Wikipedia and on his personal life area of the wiki it said his entrance music is based on the Final Fantasy 7 boss one wing angel and I was like what Final Fantasy 7 I already know Final Fantasy VII was one of those games everyone gushes over. And I was like, all right, let me check it out. I check out One Wing Angel. I didn't like it. Okay, I didn't hate it, but it's like, eh. I like Kenny Omega's entrance music more. But eventually, as I, I listened to it again, I, I was like, holy crap, this is awesome. The, this, I started to really like One Wing Angel. And I was like, this game's music is interesting. But that's the only thing I know about Final Fantasy VII. It was a game where it has this ridiculous looking flying angel thing with a one wing looking like some type of church symbol or something. Uh, looking like he's in heaven and you're facing somebody in these clouds <laughs> while you're cloud. And I was like, holy crap, this is cool. But. After a while, just like I got sold on the idea of man, I want to play this game. It was Kenny Omega's entrance music, a wrestler's entrance music, was the reason why I wanted to play a game. So I thought so I found a way to emulate the game. But before that, I was looking at a, I was looking at videos of best Final Fantasies to play if you're a beginner. I was, of course, I I, I walked through the entire video, and people say to begin with four. I played Final Fantasy 4, the Steam Edition, and I enjoyed Final Fantasy 4. And like two videos back, I was telling you about oh, I was so excited to play 7 and I had a hard time on the final boss. But you know, I finally played, I finally finished a Final Fantasy game and I felt accomplished. The next day I pop in 7, the music came on and I was like, what is this game's soundtrack? Because the only exposure to FF7 was One Wing Angel, this this intense, I don't know, what do you call it, choir, not choir, orchestra music that seemed kind of angelic, kind of angel-like or whatever. It's One Wing Angel. And they want to hear the music throughout the game. I was like, what the heck is this game's music? But the whole reason why I wanted to play Final Fantasy VII was to actually experience facing this angel creature. And I didn't know, like, I didn't know how to hit... Like, when the game starts off, he starts off in the train, you know? And I was like, how the heck does this game start off from a train to this angel creature? Like, how does it happen? So I was, I was invested. I was, oh, that was the thing. I was like, how... How would this game, like... Elevated that heights when you first in like this. I was shocked that you was in a town with like modern stuff. I was playing Final Fantasy 4 afterwards, you know, before that. I was playing Final Fantasy 4 before that, and everything was like medieval times. And then 7, I'm playing 7, I was like, what? This is like a type of New York City type area. This is interesting. But I was hooked. I played the game every day. So like about 30 days or 31 days and not one day passed and I didn't play the game. I finished it. I finally fought that boss and I finally got to experience how did this game where you start off destroying a reactor elevate way facing this godlike creature. <laughs> this angel type being and it's like man this is cool. This um that was my whole motivation, my whole drive of playing the game. Because I wanted to hear One Wing Angel while facing the boss. I wanted to experience it. So, and also because of this, that game, I honestly believe that game is what got me into music. Because I started downloading songs. And I started listening to it. And now I have like 400 and something songs on my phone. Yeah, but this may be going on long. Let me see. 14 minutes. Oh, I got time. Uh, yeah, so I write down my ideas. What I'm going to say 
it's not overrated. Honestly, for people that say it's overrated, I say it's like, you know, the game's a trailblazer. It could have come out a lot worse. You don't like it because of outdated issues. That's just my thing. Many people dislike it because of outdated issues, either because the game looks funny or the translation error, all that, all that stuff. Lots of translation errors throughout the game. And it's like, you know what? The game is not overrated. You know, the game is just straight up outdated. That's that's my defense. You know, I'm not going to argue with anyone about Final Fantasy VII. Everyone is entitled to their own opinion. But man, nothing grinds my gears more when I hear, it's, hear people call it overrated. Oh, oh, I'm fiery mad. All right, next thing. Next topic. So I said the impact of playing that. I know, I bet you guys already know the impact of playing this. I got into music because of this game. Um, I started playing many other games because of it. This game just makes me happy. Talking about it makes me happy. Talking about it to somebody else makes me happy. You know, I wish I had a, a like a buddy I could meet with in real life where we could discuss the game for 20 hours. But also, this game makes me feel a lot of other feelings too, like almost jealousy, you know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be straight up. I'm jealous of everyone who get to play Final Fantasy VII Remake. You know, it, it hurts that I still can't play the game. I shouldn't be jealous over that. It's just a game, man. But, you know, I really want to play that game. I really do. And I'll forever hold this against Square Enix for releasing only for PlayStation 4 and 5. Now, come on. You, made, you released Kingdom Hearts 3. For Xbox One, what what's stopping from releasing? There's a risk, probably some crap or some deal. Oh yeah, I'm gonna end with this. The story is not that confusing. This is something I hear people talk about too when they talk about Final Fantasy VII. They say the story is confusing, and I'm like, dude, play the sequel, Final Fantasy VIII, and come back to me, and I'll tell you what a confusing story is. And this is what makes me so confused about Tim. <laughs> Tim loves 8, he loves 9, he loves 10, but 7 is overrated? Why you don't like 7? Because, uh, Cloud is annoying? Well, Cloud, Squall is just, <laughs> Squall is just another version of Cloud times 20 in the beginning. I mean the beginning version of Cloud. He is a complete jerk. Just, if the story is confusing, Are you telling me eight stories not confusing? It's like, that's the thing. I'm not mad at anyone with their opinions. But it's like, that's the thing. That's just the thing about JRPGs. That I feel like the main factor of liking it and disliking it is playing it at the right time and letting it click with you. You know, it's it's almost like an acquired taste with some of these JRPGs. Because you had to put in so much hours. And you know... If you're if you're mentally not focused and if you're mentally not there and you don't really care about it, you expect it. You ex you're gonna start to hate it or not get into it or start saying stuff like that. And that's just the thing. It's like JRPG is games that you got to play at the right time. You got to play at the right time. Your mind gotta be your mind gotta be there, and you just gotta play at the right time. And all that stuff, but man, I could go on and talk about Final Fantasy VII forever. I got I made two videos today. Um, hopefully, I'm not missing something. I always feel like I'm not explaining myself enough, but I go on for too long. And yeah, I'm then gonna end. This is about 19. It should be 19 minutes now. So uh, yeah, that's my thoughts on Final Fantasy VII why I love it so much. I hope more people love this love the game more and I hope very soon I get to play the remake. Anyways, thank you for watching. God bless. See you later.